Yo, yo, Algebraniacs! Welcome to the Johnson Kendra video hour! It's not hour! JK! <laughs> <laughs> okay, 8 4 part 2 rational expressions multiply and divide. Yeah, we did. Part 1 was add and subtract. Alright. No, it wasn't. Simplify. Simplify. Let me do something. Yeah. That's <laughs> 8 5 is the next one. Yes. Okay, factor and simplify first to save time. We're all about saving energy. And remember that dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. You will need that in future lessons, so pay close attention. How can I delete you? Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> that kind of looks scary. Solving. Yeah, but we can tame it and get it to what we want it to be. All right, so factor. First, we got to factor everything. So GCF or parentheses. So we're going to do GCF for this one. X minus 4. Bottom looks like difference of two squares, so plus and a minus. Okay. Top, we're going to factor with two parentheses. Okay. We don't need four spot because it's just a 1 there. Yep. So it looks like 4 and 1. I think so. Man, we've got so much practice on this. This is cool. Yeah, 16. 16 is probably 4 and 4. Uh, I do okay. want to mention that in the past we've talked about how that's a perfect square trinomial, right? It is x plus 4 quantity squared. I think if we do that, we might miss that there's actually two of them. Yeah, so, so this kind of for now, out, we'll see that kind of spread out into two parentheses. For final answers, let's put that exponent on there, but for reducing sake. So there's no equal signs. We're not cross multiplying. We're just canceling. Here. Yeah, this is almost like it's all multiplied. So think of it as one giant fraction. So you can cancel things that are alike. So I see a minus four minus four can go plus four plus four. I have a question. Does this plus four cancel all the plus fours? Oh no, one for one. One for one. Eye for an eye, <laughs> cancel for a cancel. Okay, so we're left with a two on the top and x plus one. And then both x plus 4. Can I combine them now? Yeah, I think that's fine. Nice. That's so nice. this is some of my favorite stuff. Is it yours? I like it because it, uh, it's crossing things off the to-do list. Right. Everybody likes to do that. Okay, this is a, an acceptable final answer. Okay. We do need to talk about what x cannot be. So we are stating the restrictions. It is important to notice that this is much more simplified than the original denominators. So, so we gotta we, go back to the beginning. Correct. Now, I cannot glance at this and easily tell what makes these zero, but remember at one point we factored these. So we're looking at these four sets of parentheses to figure out what would have made the denominator zero. Well, x plus four, if I put a negative four in there, that would be zero. Okay. And x minus four, if I put a positive four, that would make it zero. And because we have repeat factors, that's why it's just so cute, even though there were four sets of parentheses. Okay, that's not so bad. One more. Okay, let's do the same thing. Back to the top. Looks like two and one minus minus. Bottom stays the same. Yeah, because that's already factored. That's a difference of squares. Okay, plus and minus. Oh, let's see. Six possibility. Two and three or six and one. Well, let's do the signs because that helps me choose. Okay. So one of each, that means two and three won't make a plus five. So I need a plus six and a minus one. All right, very good. Thanks. All right, plus plus, minus one, minus one. Anything Can I else? cancel the X's there with the twos? Oh, no, no kitty kittens. Four kittens, <laughs> lost your mittens. <laughs> Might have lost your life. <laughs> minus six and then X plus two on the bottom. Okay, restrictions. Let's see, go back to the original. So minus 2 to make it a 0, minus 6, and a 1. Okay, piece of cake. Division. All right, remember dividing the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, I want to point something out. You go for it. All right, so we're going to start doing some complex fractions. So, so uh, would you agree that that's illegal? Yes. Um, let's say 
that we had, would you say that that's illegal? Well, I guess because, because eventually you're going to flip it over. Okay. Is this illegal? No. But you got to be careful because you, if you think about flipping it over, you, you're not flipping it over at the very beginning. Five divided by zero, anytime you have a zero on the bottom, it is illegal. So there are actually three spots we have to look for restrictions. Right. So when I said no, I meant when you flip it over, but it really is because you have to decide before you flip things over. So be careful with that. Okay. This is division. So we are, it's like writing it out sideways, but we're going to eventually flip it over. Yeah. I'm going to just rewrite the first one. We said that this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of this? Well, just flip it over. Yeah. So x squared minus 6x. Okay. Now, now it's back to yeah. the problem we had on the previous page. So factor. Looks like plus 4 plus 1. Bottom will be plus 4 minus 3. A lot of times they match, so if you're not sure what numbers yeah. to pick, think because the top one has a four, the bottom one might have a four. This one, yep, GCF. Yeah. So because it's not a difference of squares. This one is a difference of squares. Plus one minus one. All right, what do we get to cross off? Minus three minus three. Plus one plus one. Four plus and four. I think that's it. And then 2x over x plus 1. So this is the simplified expression, and we are going to have way more restrictions. Here's why. There are four things in my denominator right now, but remember that this was also in the denominator at 1.2, so we that. have to consider these. So, so all three, that's boot. Wow. That's boot. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we got. A 0 with the 2x. Okay. And then a 3. And then a plus or minus 1. And then a 4, negative 4. Okay, well now we already have a 3, so we don't have to read. Holy moly. That's a lot of things that cannot be. Right, and that is all because of what we talked about here. Right. Essentially, this is the only one you don't have to worry about. Huh. All right, let's try one more, and then I think that's going to be enough. Okay, let's first flip it over. Speed demon. I'm trying. Oh, that's backwards, so we're just kind of surveying the problem to see what we're going to have to do here. You want to fix this? Yeah, we need the x squared to be first, so if you take a negative... Go ahead, yep. All right, we'll factor it later. Never mind. We can do it now. Whatever. Can we? Yeah, whatever. All right. Yeah. Let's get rid of that negative in the front, but I take a negative one out. Then that makes it much easier. Okay. All right, All right back to the beginning. X, let's see. So here. she's factoring. So X plus, no, minus 5, minus 2. And then X minus 3, minus 5. And then times x minus plus 6 minus 3. And now we can look here. So that negative stays there. I'm going to write it as negative 1 so I don't lose it. Yeah. Difference of 2 squares plus 2 minus 2. And if we didn't take out that negative, I don't think we would have noticed. Right. Okay, let's see. Minus 5 minus 5 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3. Now, where should that negative 1 go? Well, okay. Uh, I think the textbook says throw it out in front like that. I'll be honest, that makes me a little nervous. Right, because sometimes it blends in with that line. Right. So I would put it either in the top or the bottom, but make sure you use parentheses. So this, or this, or maybe because it was originally down there, this would be best. Did you distribute it in there too? Yeah, like all I think kinds that's of fine. Yeah. Are fine. Yep. Just be careful if you put it up front, then you put it, it way out front. 
Okay, we have all the restrictions, remember, so we are looking... Das Boot. Where is Das Boot? Maybe it's a high heel. <laughs> Spikes. Nice. That was pretty clever. Okay, so, but we want to look at the factored part of it, right? So not my art is what you're saying? <laughs> Your art is beautiful, but... Three, five, five, negative six. We already got three. Plus and minus two. Wow, look at all that. Okay, okay that's it. We'll see you in class.